It's official. After starting construction in February of 2011, nearly 12 years later, the long-awaited Honolulu Rail is finally opening to the public on Friday, June 30th. By the way, something that most people don't know is that this is America's first fully autonomous rail system. You know, it's amazing to think back that in 1968, Honolulu Mayor Frank Fossey proposed an island-wide transit plan that included a 29-mile rail line in 2007, the city and county of Honolulu began collecting taxes for the rail. After years of planning and overcoming many challenges such as budget constraints and construction delays, it's finally here. The Honolulu Rail is opening next month. Now, as of today, construction is a little over 65% complete. But starting next month, as you can see on the blue dots of this map, passengers can ride the first phase of the rail between the Croc Center in Kapolei and Aloha Stadium which will take you about 20 minutes. Now the trains will run every 10 minutes from weekdays from 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. and on weekends and holidays from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Now they do plan on extending the hours of operations once the rail reaches the airport. Now the next phase of the project, which is from Aloha Stadium to the airport, as of today, is scheduled to open in July of 2025. Now, you will need a holo card to ride the trains. This is your pass to ride the trains, the bus, and the handy van. You can pick up your holo card at any Satellite City Hall or any participating 7-Elevens, ABC stores, Foodland, or Time Supermarket. Now, the cost of the card is $2 and to ride the train, it'll cost you $3 or a cap, a day cap of $7.50. Now these cards are very easy to use. Basically, you tap and go. With this card, you can ride the rail and then hop on the bus, or you can ride the bus and then hop on the rail. Either way you go, it's a smooth transaction. Now, each rail station is also gonna have some fare machines. At these machines, you can either activate your card or reload your cards. The machines do feature several languages, including English, Hawaiian, Samoan, Ilicano, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. Now, each four-car automated driverless train is air-conditioned, and it can fit 800 passengers. That's equivalent to 10 city buses. The trains are fully automated and driverless with air conditioning, Wi-Fi, ADA-compliant, and they have priority seats for senior citizens and people with disabilities. Now, they also have st storage compartments for surfboards, your strollers, bikes, and luggage. The trains travel around 30 miles per hour with a top speed of 55 miles per hour. So, what are the travel times? Well, residents here in Ho'opili can be at Aloha Stadium within 20 minutes, the airport in 24 minutes, or Ala Moana within 42 minutes. Now, here in my community of Ho'opili, we are uh, Hawaii's first transit-oriented community. This is where the rail actually starts. We have three stations here. We also have a park-and-ride with 1,000 parking stalls where people can park their cars and catch the train. Now, on June 30th, there's going to be a ceremony for the grand opening, but starting around 2 o'clock, the public will be able to start riding the trains. Now also on that day, the Department of Transportation Services, they're going to be giving away around 10,000 holo cards for free. The trains will also be giving free rides all weekend from June 30th to July 4th, but you must have your holo card. If you have any questions about the rail or about buying or selling a home here in Hawaii, reach out to me. My contact info is posted in the description of this video. And if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe for all my future updates. That's it for today. Have a great day. Aloha.